Okay, now we're in the petrified forest. You in the petrified forest? Yeah. Okay. There, we got big log rocks. And lots of them. And they go on for a long, long time. And there's a nice little concrete path that we can take the baby. There's the big logs. We're still in Arizona. The desert, this is the petrified forest. <laughs> Painted deserts up the road a little bit. Just a little bit. We might be able to get there before the park closes. We're gonna try. Uh-huh. Gotta get to paint the desert in the sun. There's the baby. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Millie. <laughs> You're in the petrified forest. You're in Arizona. Wow. I'm okay. Look at that. We're on the path. We're on the path. We're going down, Millie. Going down the hill. We're going to look at some more. We're going to look at some more rock logs. Rock logs. Lots of rock logs. Really cool, actually. Okay. It's kind of like the moon, but with rock trees. Ha <laughs> ha. Martians. This, however, is a painted desert. And I'm sure the rain has ended. Doesn't look like they get much rain. You are a big bird, aren't you? Are you one of the maniacs? I hear there's 10,000 of them around here. Ah, the painted desert. They have a really nice, beautiful hotel right up there with a gift shop. The visitor center is not open. Um, it's under remodeling, of course. Um, they should have actually built the road first, but it's beautiful, but it's a 17-mile loop, and considering we have a car, we're not really going to get through it because it's way too rough. So it's nice to see. Um, I guess it is worth it, but we're kind of, you know, have a rough road with a little tiny baby in the back, which is not good. And um, we're getting low on gas, too, so we may actually have to pack it up here and start heading back. So, but it is really nice. But they should make the road first before they put all this millions of dollars into this beautiful hotel on top of the hill. But definitely worth coming and seeing. Inside, but I wanted to show you what's outside. Outside here they have... Okay, these are the great sand dunes in Colorado. It's actually between the mountains. So basically in the Rocky Mountains you have like two ranges and then you have this big empty field, this plateau. Um, basically at the end of it where the uh, northeastern winds make this big pile of sand, which is about 750 feet tall. So pretty cool. Okay, a lot of sand. Wish we could play in the sandbox, but it's a little chilly right now. Sand dunes, and there's somebody with a sled. Big pile of sand, and in the background you get all the big mountains. This is the Great Sand Dunes of Colorado. That's our last national park on our southwestern tour of the United States of America. Thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Cute like lumberjack name, woodchuck name. Uh, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Could do the dance, sleep all night, and work hand. all day. <laughs> no autographs, please. Okay, okay. No autographs. <laughs> all right, Danny, go. Okay, so there's the kissing camel. See, there are two heads and there are two little bumps, and that's the name of the development. But it really only looks like one camel. I don't actually see two camels. I just see a camel kissing a rock. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is true. I'll agree with that. Yeah. If you go right. around, you'll see that. And the tour will continue. <laughs> Very good. Enjoy your tour. Well, you should probably leave this. Maybe we should bring the map. Okay, we're back in Colorado, going up to, we're about 100 miles out of Denver. We're in the uh, Garden of the Gods. This is a tribute to Ted Haggard, so that's what they call it, the Garden of the Gods. And that's where we're at right now. So I'll show you, show you again. There they are. Thank you, Ted. That's why they say no RVs. Oh.